I'm going to do another video for you this time. Uh, this time I'm going to be using either Uchikomi bands or your, your judo belt to try and sort of mimic the, the positioning of a rookie and let you do some lots of Uchikomi, so basically practicing your technique without throwing. So there's quite a few things we can actually do with it. I'm going to take you through a few different exercises. You won't spend too long in each of them. We'll move through a, a sort of different range of movements um, and hopefully try and do it in an order that makes a bit of sense for you. Uh, and hopefully by the time you come back to the actual club and back to the dojo, you'll be able to put a lot of this kind of stuff into practice. Okay, so we'll show you uh, everything we'll show you either from a belt or I've got these Uchikomi bands which basically have got bits of kit at the end. Now, if you're any good with a sword machine or whatever else, you could probably make that out of some old kits and a bit of elastic. Um, I've seen some videos of uh, elastics for kind of tubing some bikes, so you can use that kind of stuff as well. Or, worst case scenario, we've all got a judo belt, um, even some old ones. Use that, wrap it around the clothes pole, anything else, a big uh, fence post. You can do it around uh, door knobs in the living room, as long as it's the opposite side, not the near side, so you don't pull it off. Or, what I'm going to use at the moment in time is the, the stands from my trampoline, which is next to us here at the back cab. Okay, so you go and get get your stuff ready and then we'll, we'll move on to some exercises, okay? Okay, so for our first exercise, we're going to start low and we're going to be doing some sort of high pulls, basically. So tie it around nice and low at the bottom. I'll change the angle in a little minute so we can see. Um, and pretty much we're going to be looking at the position of the arms and stuff as well. The big thing that I want you to consider is you're not, uh, you won't be able to see it just now, I'll show in a second, is your foot positioning. So you're going to do it in a sort of ready position with one foot forward, one foot back. Don't be standing with both legs so in, in parallel with each other as well. Okay, so I'll show you this a few times. We'll change the angle, let you see the full body uh, and let you see the foot positioning for the pulls as well. Okay, so from here we're going to be pulling up. The faces that you make in, in between, they're optional, it's up to you. Okay, so the same exercise, just from a different angle. Again, your partner's in front of you. One foot forward, strong foot forward, on a leg back, and a slight out turn. Okay, legs are bent, back straight, and if we're ready to do judo. From here, we're holding on to the, to the sleeves, or the, the belt, the end of that you're talking about. And from here, we're put on up. Pull. So as we're doing it, we're starting to rotate. Rotate. Okay, and again here, leading with a wrist again here. Okay, so nice high pulls. Again, if you want, again we can start there. We'll bring your hips in a wee bit more later on, but right now let's just stick to the pulls. So it will be useful in judo, it'll also be useful just for a bit of fitness and all round sort of shoulder mobility, but again. Making sure we've got our foot position right, body position right, and this time we're going to bring from a low position to a high position over one shoulder up here. Okay, once you've done a few of these, you can change the shoulder again, keep the feet where they are, they keep the feet the same. Up, yeah, yeah. So basically, we've now got one each side, both sides, and off side. Okay, three different things we can do. We start to get the pulls right, and then the minute or two we'll add in the legs. So the last time was low to high, this is to be high to low, okay? So wrap it round a bit higher this time, and again, opposite, to them down, 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 down. And the same as the last time, same side, same side, same side. So we've basically got one each side. Both sides, both sides, okay? And you can do reps here. We now we've done just with the arms, we've got a few different directions basically. We've got pulling down low, pulling high, pulling to one side, high to the other side, low to this side, low to this side. Obviously you've then got the opposite side, leg, again making sure the other foot's forward and you start doing the same pulls, okay? This next set we're going to be pulling again, but we're going to start bringing their body and our hips in a little bit more and starting to use their arms a little bit, okay? So watch here. Okay, so my feet aren't moving too much. As I turn, hopefully, my hips coming through here. 
with my sleeve hand, I've got a nice high pull and then my lapel hand's coming in and going against the rope here, okay? So I've got a pull from there, keep the tension, pull, pull, pull. So we're starting to concentrate a little bit in the turn, but more pull and not too much linking the legs and the hands together too much, okay? Try that on both sides, um, again, just with a simple turn in. The next set of exercises, we're going to start to actually turn the legs in now. Um, simple, we do at the club all the time, without the bands, as we turn, we're turning in, okay? Leg forward, step, step, and we're turning, okay? That's all we're doing with this, this time we're adding in the bands as well. So, similar to the last exercise, we're going towards this time, but at the same time, leaning forward and try to keep the tension in the bands. Let me do a couple. Last exercise a little bit more seeing aggy tight legs. This time again you can change it to high cross your legs, a line up. So from here, get our stance right, from here, pull, again, nice high pull, turning in, legs wider, back in, okay? Turn in, back in. Two. One, two, three. Similar exercise this time, but you start a little bit closer towards the end of your bands and we're stepping away from the bands so with our partner coming on to us so similar exercise this time we'll be, a, we'll be fairly close to your partner we're stepping back as we step back we're starting to pull okay and then this leg comes forward joins us okay here so I'll do a couple of and see what's happening from your partner, continuing the pull, hand coming through and stepping in towards your partner. Again, trying that on both sides, you can change it for your tie and toss your legs, okay? Uh, and again, just try and get a bit of variety. This can action, lots of reps, lots of turning. Okay, so in a slightly different part of the garden this time, again, I was using a trampoline this time. What I've got is, garden post right the corner okay I've tied a jewel belt round about it um, so the band doesn't go in against a sort of hard object and the but um, the jewel belt then gives you um, a little bit more distance away from the fence and stuff as well and also I'll break my ankle standing here okay so I, again gives you a little bit more turning power or the space sorry no power so I'll, I'll do a few exercises anyway so from here a bit closer Again. Okay, I think I'll go for a lie down. 